<sighs> Where do I begin? Because this episode really got under my skin. Especially Felicity. Now, before I get started, let me talk about the good, because there were some good in here. The good being from Malcolm Merlin and his little character arc. And I, re I first off, I really love that the flashbacks this time around were about Malcolm, and John Barrowman gives such a great performance in the flashbacks and in here, because I love the I him saying, "Look, because we find out in this episode that Brick that uh, Brick was the real murderer of his of his mom of his wife, excuse me." To which I have flashbacks of <laughs> Spider-Man Three. Really, I yeah, I really do. <laughs> it's really, it's the exact same thing. It's like, oh, this was your mother's kid. Why do I keep saying, why do I say mother? This is your uh, wife's killer all along, and we knew about it for 21 years. And you didn't share it. But, <laughs> but I'm willing to overlook that stupidity because Bowerman gives a really good uh, confession saying, look, if he, this guy had not killed my wife, I would have been a much different person. I could have avoided the undertaking, my son dying, everything. And I really like that, especially like when, you know, he talks about the first time he killed people, he killed a man. And this is obviously the who he thinks killed his wife. And yeah, I mean those were really good scenes. Everything with with Malcolm in here is really good. But let me say one thing about the flashback. When he's talking to young Nissa, and he, she's like, you know, the only reason you came here was to fight. Give me one reason why I shouldn't kill you. He does a magic trick in front of her and pulls out a coin. And she says, you're a magician. To which I facepalmed, because I, I literally said out loud, well, I guess I know how I won't be killed in a, by an assassin. I'll just pull it, I'll just do a magic trick. I mean, yeah, I know this is a kid in this flashback, but come on. Really? He's like, oh, magic trick. But having said that, Bowerman does give a really good performance, especially the stuff with young Tommy as well. So I'm cool I'm cool with the Bar with the uh, you know the Malcolm a lot of the Malcolm Merlin stuff. Still don't care about Felicity at all. Brick was a really good villain, by the way, for the three scenes. You know well, the majority of the scenes he was in, and now we'll probably never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, it looks like this uh, this uh, episode took some pages out of the uh, out of Dark Knight Rises. No, literally. Was anyone else thinking Dark Knight Rises in that ending scene where they get the glades together to fight uh, Brick and his men? Anyone else thinking that? Yeah. As you can tell, I'm not a fan of this episode. But there were some really good scenes in here. Like uh, we got to see Sin back, which was actually pretty cool to see her back. But, yeah, I... Hmm. I... What was I saying? There are just some really dumb scenes in here, and let me talk about another scene that just really got... Again, the stu a majority of the stuff between Malcolm and Thea is actually pretty good, and that was a really big saving grace for me in this episode. The stuff with Oliver and Tatsu, that was okay. And, uh... Let me talk about a few scenes that just really bothered me, and I can't be the only one who thought this. Like when, uh, Roy's talking about, you know, Roy's talking to Thea, and she says, Well, Malcolm Merlin, during the siege, uh, he saved me, and suddenly, he's okay, and son And this is right after Malcolm suggests teaming up to kill, uh, to kill Brick. And after Thea says that, he, you know, suddenly, uh, you know, Roy's all like, Maybe we should go, we should just let him turn, we should just turn Malcolm loose on him. Because he he had an objective and he wants to save this city, even though he killed 500 people. I literally face palmed at that moment because I was like, "God damn it, Roy! You, oh, God damn it! What are they doing? Did they did they just decide just to make sure Oliver was you know people could think Oliver was a good character? They just made everyone else collectively goddamn stupider. Because again, it just didn't like again." The dude came up to the uh, you know came up to Malcolm in the previous episode saying you're poison and you're going to end up hurting Thea even if you don't know it yet. 
So why suddenly do this? And here's the icing on the cake right here. Here is the icing on the cake that just really made me go, fuck you. Just fuck you. It was the moment when Oliver returns, and it's a really good, joyous, it's a really happy moment. And then, you know, he talks about saying, you know, I have to train with Malcolm to finally kill Ra uh, uh, Ra's al Ghul, because he's coming for Malcolm, me, and Thea. So, what happens is that Felicity says, no, I just said you would never work with Malcolm just to kill someone. You would never be like that. To which I respond with, bullshit, because I remember four episodes ago, you said you have to kill Roz to, you know, if you're going to, the only way to beat Roz is to kill him. You said that, Felicity. You said those exact words. So why are you suddenly pissed off at Oliver for training to kill the guy you said to kill? Ugh. What the hell? I hate to, you know, come on here and rag about it because, you know, the past two episodes I found things to like about it, but this time around I'm just like, God damn it. Another thing is when, uh, and I really hate to bring up every little bad thing, and maybe, I, I don't know, maybe this wasn't so much a bad thing, but I was kind of thinking when, you know, they're talking about, well, who else can we call? And then, you know, Laurel says, how about we call everyone in town? And to which I, when she said, there is someone, actually, when she said, there, actually, there is someone we can call. And they were like, who? To which I responded with, he lives in Central City. Yeah, did anyone else think not to call Barry? I'm pretty sure he could run down there, literally, and help out with the Glades for a little while. You know, he could, you know, he's nice, he would probably be nice enough to do double duty to help what's going on in the Glades and then run back to Central City. I'm pretty sure he'd be nice enough to do that because they are really his friends, so why don't they call a frickin' favor? On the plus side, though, we did get to see, you know, Ted Grant fight. That was pretty cool with the short fight he had with Brick, and he actually called himself Wildcat. Yeah, that was actually pretty cool, so I'll give points for that. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I guess Allicity's still a thing. Well, maybe it will stop being a thing after this episode. And also, I'm kind of thinking that maybe Felicity, Felicity's gonna get killed, because Tatsu is talking to Oliver before he, he departs back to the city, which also is really, like, how did he get there? But then again, if, ba if Bruce Wayne could just magically show up in a lockdown city in Dark Knight Rises, then Oliver could just show up here in full costume. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. What she says before he leaves is that, you know, the only way you can kill... Uh, Rachel Ghoul is that you lo you're going to lose something that you hold very dear to you before this ends. So I'm kind of thinking, is this going to be the death of Felicity? Because at this point I don't really care about her character anymore. Which sucks because I thought she was really awesome in season 1 and 2. But now they've done this whole BS with Alicity and I don't care anymore. <sighs> Look, I really hate to rag on this show. I really do, guys. I absolutely hate it. But I have to call it as I see it. This episode irked me more than this week's episode of The Flash. It really did. Was there some cool stuff? Yeah. Again, the Malcolm Merlin stuff, and the, again, Brick was awesome. We're probably not going to see him again, and if at all, it'll probably be later on in the series. Or next, yeah, pretty much series, not this season. So, I don't know. On the plus side, next week we're going to see more... <laughs> we're going to see more... Uh, what was I going to say? We're going to see more Count Vertigo, which I'm actually excited about. Yay, more Count Vertigo! And, actually, here's another thing that just kind of... I, maybe I'm just not thinking of all of this, but let me say this. <laughs> when, uh, you know, Art, you know, when Roy's talking to Detective Lance, he's just like, oh, you're, you know, you're Roy. I know, you know, just because you wear, you wear a red hood and got extra stuff on you doesn't mean I, can te I can't tell who you are. And to which he's, to which I'm thinking, well, if that's the same, if that's the same kind of logic, then you should know that air, the arrow is Oliver. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe, maybe he just, he's just seen Roy more. No, that's not possible because he's seen more of Oliver. Maybe Oliver just hides his face better and uses the voice changer. Anyway, I don't know. 
But all in all, the, I think the the real saving grace of this episode was the Malcolm Merlin stuff, even in the especially in the flashbacks. So, but yeah, there's this really I. I don't know, and again, this whole... Th I was really hoping for more Roy, Roy Harper stuff, really, and that didn't happen. Anyway, I don't mean to sound like I'm ragging this episode, but in terms of just, just this episode, I was... This left me physically pissed off. And that hasn't happened in a long time with episodes. I mean, even last, you know, yesterday's episode of Arrow, I mean, excuse me, Flash didn't piss me off, despite the amount of romantic BS was in there. And I, le and I don't mind romance in stories. I don't mind that at all. And it wasn't just the romance in this episode. Let me say that again. It wasn't just the Olicity stuff that pissed me off. It was just the writing in general and just scenes that made me go... What the hell? <laughs> anyway. So you guys... So... Anyway. I'm pretty much done here. So you guys tell me. What did you guys think of this episode? Uh, did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Uh, just comment below and let me know. And, uh, yeah. Do apologize for this little rant, but this... God almighty. This just got me mad. <laughs> anyway, once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.